Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own custom search engine and explain why you might want to do this. Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to use Google's programmable search engine tool, formerly known as Google Custom Search Engine. And I've already signed in with my Google account. And I'm going to now create a new search engine by clicking on Add. And let's call this one Mr. Burns Fall 2002 Search Engine. You can call it whatever you want. That's what I'm going to call mine. You can always change the name of it later if you want to as well. Now, what do we want to search? You can say search the entire web, but that defeats the purpose of making your own search engine. The purpose of making your own search engine is to control the sites that students will be searching when they use this search tool so that we can have a little bit of an expectation of what they're going to come across. Now, I'm going to put in, let's say, Larry Forlazzo's website. So I'm going to go to his website and type in the address larryforlazzo.edublogs.org and add it. And I'm going to add, oh, let's say freetechforteachers.com. So we'll say freetechforteachers.com. And I'm going to add in one more. I'll add in history.com. Now, those are my three sites that this search engine is going to search. Now, let's say we're going to use search images and we're going to have safe search. And of course, I'm going to say, I'm not a robot. And now create that search engine and we can preview it right here. And let's say I want to search for something like, uh, I don't know, Columbus Day. I do my search. Now, up here at the top, we have some ads, but below that, we'll see these are all results from those websites that we entered into our search engine tool. And you'll notice that in this case here, history.com is all of the results. And that's not because Larry doesn't have information about Columbus Day on his website, and I don't have information on my website about it. We both do. However, history.com is such a big website, has so many more links, that it ranks way ahead. And so using something like history.com might not be the best thing to include in your custom search engine because that's always going to show up and flood your results. Now, I want to go back in here and let's go back into our search engine and edit this so we can take out history.com and replace it with something else. So I'm going to go back to my search engines. There's Mr. Burns' Fall 2022 search engine. And let's edit what's in that search engine itself. You can see there's our search engine name. And we're going to scroll down here and change out and remove history.com. I'm going to say history.com and delete that option. Now, I want to point out something else. Here, in both of these examples, I put in the entire web address for the website itself. You can also search just within a page or a section of a website, like I've done here. I've pulled up Larry's Best Of series, and he has tons of things in this Best Of series. So I want to add now just this section of the website. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the search for the generic LarryForLazzo.edublogs.org. I'm going to delete that. And in its place, I'm going to add that link there for his best of series page. So that that's the page that's indexed by the search engine. Now you can add as many sites as you would like into your search engine. And as you can see, you can go back and take them out if you want to, and you can be as specific or as generic as you want in the sites that you list here. I should also point out that 
when you go to look at your search engine, you have that public URL, which we already looked at, and that's kind of a boring page. But if you wanted to put your search engine into your website itself, click on the get code button and you can copy that code and paste it into your website, whether that's Google Sites, a WordPress site, Wix, Weebly, Squarespace, or anything else, you could paste that code in there and have that appear on your website as a little search engine. So that's how you can make your own custom search engine. As always, for more things like this, please check out practicaledtech.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.